hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so today we will talk about how to automate performance testing using puppeteer so puppeteer have a lot of control over chromium so chrome provides uh, methods to uh, trace your performance or your web page so when you talk about the performance of the web page actually it means uh, how much time page is loading how much time uh, the script execution takes uh, if it is using javascript how much uh, memory it is using and all the metrics that we are getting in uh, for performance so when you open the website you first thing you concern our concern is loading time of the web page so you can trace or automate using puppet here so before we start go through all the videos and please subscribe to this channel it if you are qa share it to other qas as well uh, you will get lot of information uh, on the tools and latest technology and automation with puppeteer and future good tools as well so let's start so puppeteer provides one uh, class called trace so we will talk about uh, run time as well as load time and tracing so how to measure the performance so if you just uh, before going through this uh, if you go to just chrome open developer tools you get one performance tab here here you can start recording performance manually open any url for example amazon so when you open your any url it got open now it got loaded there is no process running you can stop it so when stop that you will get uh, one report performance report i already created one detailed video on uh, this uh, developer tools you will got lot of information how dev, dev tools works so you will get this performance report here like this so with our puppet here also you can get this automatically using the automation or while running your automation you can get this report so for that uh, we have uh, to do tracing so we have two methods here the tracing to start and tracing to stop so when you start the tracing you can open pay uh, load and complete the after completing of the load you can stop the tracing so tracing to start is uh, three options path screenshot and category path is the path of json file so when you trace something it will create the json file and uh, it will store at the this path you can also have screenshot enable or disable uh, that i will explain while using and you can have category like if you want to specify custom categories to use instead of default so it will trace only those custom categories and uh, stop will stop this tracing of the web page so don't waste time let's go through the code so let's use our existing amazon script only uh, if you have watched a previous video i have used this to automate some amazon stuff i have created one video on that yeah so you will find that in the channel so now uh, uh, here we are loading the url so here you can use uh, stress so you can use await page dot tracing dot start it will start the stressing so now uh, you need to provide the argument one is path path is compulsory because it will store at that path only so let's make give i have already executed for practice so profile.json i have deleting my existing json files i have so it got deleted i have created path is profile.json go to url and close so now let's run npm test i need to stop as well right so let's stop the script first so i need to stop the tracing i don't know what it will do if you don't stop it i don't know if keep on uh, stressing or uh, uh, when browser is closed it will automatically uh, get the close now i think we can run again So it is loading just Amazon. It will close the browser. Now you can see 
it goes fast and it has created profile.json so when you click on the profile.json you will see this lot of information which process id and tid and all to get the better view you can uh, explore that in terminal or if you are using sorry not uh, explore in finder if you are using windows you will get in the uh, same path where you mentioned you can open this and uh, you can open uh, developer tool performance here you get a tab to upload or you can directly drag and drop as well so i am just uh, drag and dropping this so you can now drag and drop this so now it will uh, give you complete data of the performance like how much time it took to load this and uh, at what interval time what happened when uh, gpu memory was uh, full when uh, uh, it takes a heap when performance was high when performance was low how much timing it took and all this information you get so this is how you can use the stress now let's uh, go through the parameters first one we is screenshot so to use it we should just need to do screenshot true so it will enable the screenshot so here like uh, currently you are not getting any screenshot of web page so when you enable that you get the screenshot of web page so let's uh, run again npm test so now again my new profile profile.json is created so let's check out so so yeah now i am dragging drop i am seeing now it will load screenshots as well see here you are seeing like at what point it was loading and all so you get the screenshots as well so this is how you can enable screenshot through screenshot uh mostly people uh, use it because we can know like while debugging uh, at what time when performance was high what was loading and all and third was like uh, specific categories also you can use so you can pass this categories and you can provide like uh, just what timeline you need like uh, you can say dev tools dot timeline so it will provide only timeline only the other settings it won't provide so this is how you can use the stressing other thing is uh, now we talk about the matrix so when you load the page you want some matrix like how much time it will took how much time uh, uh, page took to load and all so that all information also you can get using the uh, puppeteer in the logs as well so there are two types like uh, load time and run time so load time is like when the connection starts so when website uh, started connecting it goes to domain and loads the domain get uh, data from domain all those things it comes in load time and in run time is after uh, page got hit so let's first see how you can do load time so you can have constant one metric you can take or metric spelling so you can take one matrix await page dot uh, evaluate and you can have windows dot performance so windows will performance dot uh, perf windows dot performance will uh, give you the full uh, uh, load time data but this data is in not in correct format so what we can use it uh, we can use json dot stringify so now it will uh, give me the data now i can console dot log and if i can provide metric so now i when i run this let's focus in logs only 
so it will run same thing and it will uh, created one JSON file now we are getting this load time uh, logs so here you can see like few important things are there like uh, when uh, DOM is start loading so you can get like a uh, DOM start loading here and DOM loading end here DOM lookup end here so you can subtract uh, DOM loading minus DOM lookup end and you you can get the uh, like how much time DOM loading took the uh, same way like when connection start and connection end right so how much time entire page took uh, navigation start and navigation so how much time did it take to navigate so all those things you can calculate from runtime now you can do uh, your uh, runtime also this was load time now you can do runtime also so for runtime that operator direct provides uh, there is a method page dot matrix you just need to uh, use this and you can get us uh, uh, much information here so see it has given me timestamp document how much time frames took uh, and uh, uh, yes JS hip used size like how much time uh, how much memory JavaScript is using how so what is the size of JavaScript so this will uh, you can keep eyeing on like it should be less than something and when it extend on something in report you can raise a bug like you can raise a bug like why this size uh, JavaScript size is uh, uh, so much this much is there or uh, how much time scripting is uh, taking why JavaScript taking so much time to load and all things so this is where you can uh, uh, get some performance metrics using the puppeteer on automation you don't have to go manually and perform everything so this is the part one like uh, basic things you can do puppeteer you can do lot of things uh, in puppeteer in fact you can uh, automate entire uh, that chromium dev tool so whatever uh, things we are seeing here you can automate everything most of the things uh, like I, do, I also don't know everything but most of the things we can automate you can automate a CPU uses network like 3G, 4G, slow. I will create video on that as well. So this is how you can uh, use it. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask. And uh, thank you for watching full video. Uh, please subscribe and support this channel. Also follow me on social media. I have put the links in the description. Thank you.